All right, everyone, we are here with a very special guest. We are joined by the lovely Storm Reed actress. She's in the new movie, Missing. We are so excited to have you here today. Thank you for joining us. No, thank you for having me. We're so excited to talk to you. We're big fans and you know, you're you have this new movie coming out and watching these I guess, you know, thriller edge of the seat. You're on the edge of your seat type movies. How mm-hmm. do you feel talking about them? Like is it hard not to just reveal everything to everyone right off the bat? <laughs> yes, it is very challenging to not let out all the secrets. Uh, but I think it it helps because I haven't seen the movie like at all. I've seen like bits and pieces here and there, but I haven't seen it yet. So um, I, I mean, I'm just, you know, going off a of memory and just trying not to give away too much. <laughs> How do you plan on seeing the movie premiere? Are you planning on watching it with friends? I'm going to see it at the premiere with my family and friends. I usually never do that. I usually before the premiere of anything, I've seen something at least once, mm-hmm. but I've been traveling and it's been so crazy. And then truthfully, I'm just a little nervous. So I think I'm just going to wait till Thursday to see it. Well, I'm really excited for this movie. I'm seeing it everywhere, like all over social media. I feel like, you know, the promotion for it has been insane. Can you just give a little background info to the people listening on who your character is? Yeah, so I play June uh, in Missing. June is a young teenage girl who is just trying to figure out life. Her mom, Grace, uh, goes to uh, on a vacation to Columbia with her boyfriend and unfortunately ends up going missing. So June has to jump in and try to find her missing mom through social media. But there's a lots of twists and turns. It's very exhilarating. You know, it's a lot of plot twists. You're never going to know what's happening. You're going to be at the edge of your seat. So it's a fun, it's a fun ride. This visually looks so different than, you know, some of the other projects that we've seen from you or just even in general, because you're kind of like living through technology, whether it's on the phone or the computer, like that's kind of how you're watching everything. What is that process like filming? Because it's I'd imagine it's not as maybe like big production. It's a little bit more intimate. Right. Yes, it was very intimate and and very challenging. It was probably the most challenging role that I've ever had because the situation and the circumstances that June is in, uh, it's obviously emotionally very heightened. So you already have to be emotional. Your mom is missing. You don't know what's going on. You're anxious. You're sad. You're feeling all of these emotions, but you are doing this mission through the computer. So you have to like you know, pay attention to eye lines. And if I were to get a notification on my computer, my eye line has to go up to the right or to the left. It's just a lot of technical things and aspects that it took a little getting used to. Um, but once I got the hang of it, it was a lot of fun. And and I've never done a film like this, like you said. So to, you know, be able to work out and and, and try to, you know, do new skills is is good as an actress. So I'm grateful for it. What was the process for you to be involved in this film? Was it a lot of auditioning? Was the script sent to you? How how did you get the part? Um, I, The script was sent to me and I fell in love with the script. And I think I had a few meetings with the creative team. And then, you know, the rest is history. <laughs> in situations like this, right, you see a cast and, you know, um, Nylong is amazing. And mm. she plays your mother. Um, but like you said, you know, she's she is missing that's the name of the movie she is missing and what kind of act interaction do you get to have with her while doing this movie because you know a mother-daughter relationship is very close but yet you guys are separated and it's only through the computer (laughs) right yeah no I mean I being able to work with Miss Nia was amazing she's an icon um in in her own right so to be able to just work with somebody that you've watch grow like growing up I've watched her so to be able to work with her was really cool but I mean we did have a few scenes where we we were together and in each other's presence and then others obviously we didn't but I think we tried to support each other uh even when we weren't on set together whether it was like our voices and or I would stand outside the room where she could hear me and she could kind of feel my presence when we were doing a scene um and vice versa so I think we tried to make it as comfortable as 
possible and as realistic as possible and try to create that bond, even though we weren't always in the same environment. Yeah, that's so nice. With um, like sort of a dark movie like this and, you know, with Euphoria and other projects you have done, how do you separate yourself from the project when you're done filming and basically, you know, stay relaxed, stay in a good mindset? Yeah, I mean, I think I always try to step into the shoes of my character um, and become them and and step into their given circumstance. But I think for me as an actress, I can't neglect my own feelings and my own emotions, how I would feel if I was in my character's given circumstance. So I think it's obviously a challenge or the biggest hurdle that people would have when it when it comes to being emotional and also trying to like have their emotions in, in check is just being your character. And then also when the director calls cut, you know that like your reality is not your character's reality and you can go home, you can smile, you can giggle in between takes. It's not that big of a deal because, you know, you're still you. Yeah. Yeah. And and you're you're a bright light. You've been in so many cool things now and you're still at such a young age and you've been acting for what seems like a long time, despite your age. When did you really know like acting is what I want to do? Oh, wow. I mean, I've been acting since I was three, so I've I've been doing it for a while and it's something that I've always loved. But I think when A Wrinkle in Time came out and I uh, realized the 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 weight that the movie had and the inspiration um, that young people were feeling, specifically young girls were were feeling after see, seeing A Wrinkle in Time. I think it just solidified that I was doing the right thing and that I'm not just here to act. I'm here to inspire and empower and my career is bigger than myself. So I think that's what make, makes acting rewarding because it, it not only benefits me and I'm able to like fulfill my passions and my dreams, but people are inspired by me and in the work that I do. And I think that's really cool. What is a, a a really rewarding character for you look like? Like if you could, you know, write up a dream role for yourself that you would feel really good about and also excited to play, who would that be? Oh, man, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Because, uh, you know, there's so many things in so many directions and situations that you can you could pull from to to create a situation or a character or circumstance. Um, but I, I think... I I, I try to be as intentional as possible when it comes to picking the roles that I've been a part of this far. Um, And, you know, as long as the characters being depicted in the right light and there's a purpose behind what we're doing in in the film or the tele or the the film or the the television show i think that's what's most important to me yeah we love watching you in euphoria um your character gia is awesome and the emotion that you have shown through that character and the range and there's some really you know really intense stuff that we have watched you uh, go through on that show. What has that show meant to you? And because I feel like it's really everybody on that show is blown up so much. What has getting being a part of that show meant? Yeah, it's such a blessing to be a part of Euphoria. I think we all knew that it was special and it, it wasn't like anything else on television, but we didn't know it was going to be a, quite literally a cultural phenomenon <laughs> and people are obsessed with it. Um, but a, again, I think it all goes back to being intentional and Euphoria tries to be very intentional. And we started the show with a purpose and in, in trying to bridge the disconnect between uh, generations and, and just trying to let the world know that young people are going through things too. And obviously that has gone um, in different directions and, and morphed into different things. But I think the intention is still very much the same of being purposeful and in, in, in trying to educate audiences while also being entertaining. With a show like that, you know, week to week, everybody's on the edge of their seat. They want to know what's happening. They're online. Everyone's throwing out their own theories. People are making up the craziest things. Do you have people in your own life who are trying to get the information out of you of what's going to happen? And how do you keep that to yourself? 
<laughs> I do have a few cousins and a, cu- a few close friends that are like, so girl, what happened? I'm like, babe, I don't know. I can't tell you. Um, no, I, I think it's it's fun, though, and it's, it's exciting to see the people around you, especially the people close to you, being invested in, in something that you're a part of and really wanting to know what's happening, really wanting to know what comes next. And then, you know, I, I get every day like, when is season three coming out? I'm like, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think we do know that you guys are gearing up for that soon, hopefully. Um, What kind of hopes do you have for for Gia coming up? Oh, man. I mean, I I hope we get to see Gia a little bit more, but I think my my overarching hope um, for Euphoria as a whole, I think, would just be in season three would be more levity and just a little bit more grace, a little bit more light, a little bit more joy. I think we have gone through the entire spectrum of (laughs) emotions so i think we need to you know go in with a little a little light note like Mm -hmm. i i would really hope for the bitnet family to just be able to like go and and get some ice cream at the local (laughs) ice cream shop and not scream and yell at each other for months that would be nice to see i think that in the last season we saw everything that could possibly happen to anybody yeah. Like yeah. it was just every range of emotion, everything was going on. But I think even when you listen to the other actors um, that are a part of the show, it seems like you all have your own grace for each character that you play and, and mm-hmm. understand them. And I think that's really cool to see because as much as people judge them from the outside, there's always another, another meaning to it, which right. I think is really awesome that you guys all have that outlook on the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. What's, a, what's your work life balance look like like what are you doing in your downtime are you still in I are you still in school is that like what what does that look like for you yes um I am still in school I'm a sophomore at USC so when I'm not working I'm at school um and when I'm not at school very impressive (laughs) thank you I like to just you be with my family and my friends listen to music cook relax chill I love to travel so any uh anytime there's a, a opportunity to travel and it's not work travel I love that and you know just relaxing taking time for myself I don't have much of it so whether I'm spending my 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 time um Uh, My free time by myself or or with my loved ones, as long as I'm, you know, relaxing and and taking a moment for myself. um, I think that's most important. Yeah, I I saw on your on social that you've been doing a a series about running and, and, you know, Mm -hmm. New Balance and and mental health. Mm -hmm. What um, how important is taking care of your mental health to you and is like is exercise how you kind of help do that? Yeah, I mean, I think moving um, my body specifically for me is just something that keeps me motivated and and is an uh, escape from, you know, the world. You have a set time to just be able to have a goal, move your body and and, and work out or run or dance or do whatever yeah. you want to do. And um, mental health is something that I'm still trying to navigate and define for me. Um, but I, I, I do know that moving does help my mental health so i'm glad that i was able to do that initiative with uh new balance who um cares so much about mental health and and beyond the run is is something that i'm so grateful to be a part of and new balance is back yeah new balance is back, babe. oh yeah new balance is back everybody's <laughs> rocking new balance now that is true Absolutely. really cool is uh yeah, yeah. is the goal to graduate college <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I don't think a, I it's just there, coming. I this is just a question coming from two drop. <laughs> that is, that is. Yeah, that's, I was going to say some context to that is. I was going to give the context from from two girls who did not finish college. Yes. But yes, I think everyone goes <laughs> in yet. hoping that they that they do uh, that they do finish. Um, what are you majoring in? Do you know? Like, yeah, have you declared? I, um, I'm, yeah, I'm a major in School of Dramatic Arts and a minor in African American Studies. Wow, so cool! Good for you. It's that's mm. very impressive because it is very impressive. I, I like I said, I would have dropped out because yeah. I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, when you have um, all the success and still working really hard for that, that's that's really cool. And I think everybody is going to love watching you in this movie. Missing is going to be is going to be great. It feels like it really taps into that young audience and like Rhea said you were seeing it all over social where Mm -hmm. it's like such in a good format where when you're scrolling TikTok Mm -hmm. it's like wait is this a 
actually a TikTok or is this some, something else, which is which is cool because I think that's really engaging. So um, how excited are you for people to to see this movie? We got about a week or so left. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm extremely excited for people to see it. I think people are going to love it. I think people are going to be shocked by all the plots um, and the twists and the turns. Again, it's exhilarating. It was fun to film. So I, I'm i sure the team did an amazing job with putting it together. I can't wait to see it. And I've actually, you know, just like traveling, being around um, the last couple of weeks recently, people have come up to me and said that they were really excited to see it and uh that's really cool when a project hasn't even come out yet and people are excited so um I think people are gonna like it yeah I think so too and it's nice when you have a movie it's like hey go you can go to the theater you can go to the movies you can watch it which is always a fun experience so January 20th everyone can go to the theater see Missing Starring Storm I think everybody's gonna love it the the thriller genre has been so much fun Mm -hmm. recently i think there's been so many great movies that have come out in that genre so just adding to that is is really cool so january 20th everyone go see missing storm thank you so much for talking with us thank you so much thank you guys